Hello and welcome back. Here's Yuri with some news about the decaffeine development. Today I'll be talking about the new feature I'm calling virtual devices. For today's demo I'll be using my pressures Raspberry Pi 400 and this Intel NAC PC. The decaffeine is already installed on both devices so I just have to open the management interface. Now we are looking at the screen of Raspberry Pi, so I switch to streamer and we can see that I don't have any USB webcams connected, but I have there four new virtual devices. I can add as many virtual devices as I want. So for example, I can add two media players and one image render. For each of them, I have to select the media or of course the image and these files are stored in a new directory called decaffeine and there are three directories one for fonts, images and the last one for media. For now I will start with just one media player and one image render. So I will delete the middle media player and select media source for the first one. Let's call it first. I have to learn to write and the image for the second one. And we can start the stream. If we take a look on the second computer, the Intel NAC, I can see the streams here. So let's see the first one. I will use the keep ratio option. And it's fine. So we have source from the media player and now try the second source and that's the image. We can try that in the opposite direction as well. But because Intel NAC is a little bit more powerful, we can add all four virtual devices. So let's add text generator, image render, media player and screen grabber. So text will be first. Image will be second. Media player will be third. And my screen will be screen. <laughs> I will use the preset for this screen. I will just lower a little bit the frame rate. So for example for to 24 frames per second. Okay, we can start the streams. On the Raspberry, I'm going to open the player, select the advanced mode, and I will add the sources here. So first, screen, second and third. And we can try to play them right now. All of them are here. Of course, normal setup would be uh, much simpler. So, I will start just one stream with screen. Let's call it screen <laughs> or screen clock. I will use the video preset from the current screen. Just lower the frame per second number. Start the stream. Okay, so now I'm streaming this screen. So on the second tab, I've opened this online clock. And on the right side, on the Raspberry Pi 400, I'll try to play them. Okay, screen clock, we can see the stream here. And play. So that's current state of the virtual devices. I hope you've liked it and I'll be back soon with some more examples. See you next time.